Hello techies, welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In our previous tutorials, we have learned how to work with web automation actions as part of Power Automate Desktop. To simplify these web automation actions in some of the tasks, we will use recorders. Recording is one of the best feature in Power Automate Desktop which will enable to capture user actions on the screen and then eventually convert them into the sequence of steps or actions in Power Automate Desktop. There are certain simple tasks which won't require any editing further. Such tasks can be recorded by using recorders. Also, there may be redundant actions in a recording that should be removed. These recorded steps can be used to replay or reuse them as many times as user wants. There are two types of recorders available in the Power Automate Desktop to create flows. One is Desktop Recorder, second one Web Recorder. These recorders having Record and Playback feature. These recorded steps can be replay or reuse them as many times as the user wants. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work or how to use web recorder. First of all, we'll see what is the purpose of web recorder. Web recorder enables users to record sequence of steps to extract data from the web, download data, test websites, extract source code, and many more. It also records all the UI elements from the website. Let me show you a simple steps over here how we are going to use web recorder. If you see on my screen, these are all the steps which have been recorded as part of the web recorder. All right. Let me show you a small example. Over here on my screen that I'm having employee registration form which I have opened in the Google Chrome. The URL is you can see http localhost slash employee registration dot html. And you can see over here in our previous tutorials, what we have done, we have extracted the data or web form filling. By these actions, we have filled our data into this web application, right? But right now, with the simple steps that I'm going to fill this data by using Web Recorder. What is the first step that we have? Select the browser which you want to open. So right now in my scenario, I'm going to use Google Chrome. That is the first step. Second step, you the URL that is localhost slash employee registration dot HTML in my case. In your case, you can use any other website like www.amazon.in or any live scenario, you can use it. And the third step to capture the UI elements, you will start the recording. Okay, so whatever you are going to fill it up, all these UI elements will be captured by using web recorders. All right. And finally, once you have captured all the UI elements like text, text area, radio buttons, check boxes, and the combo box or drop down list. And finally, we'll go ahead and we'll click on button action. That is submit button in my case. Once it has been completed, we'll close our browser. These are all the simple steps which we are going to do as part of this web recorder. All right. We are going to record all the sequential steps by using Web Recorder. Where we'll find that option over here? You can see on my screen, there on the topmost, you will find Web Recorder, or you can go ahead and you can use in menu bar, there the tools. Under tools, you will find Web Recorder. From there also, you can use this Web Recorder. All right, before going to start with Web Recorder, there we need the add ons for this particular browser. To get all these browser extensions or add-ons, where we can get it, you can see over here from the tools, you go for the browser extensions and then based on your browser selection, you can go ahead and you can add your extensions for the Power Automate. All right, you can see over here, I'm going to select Google Chrome over here. In my case, I want to use Google Chrome for the application, web application. And then you can see the extensions over here. For this Google Chrome, I have already added the extension for the Google Chrome that is Microsoft Power Automate. I have already added that. If not added, please add it for your browser and then enable it also. 
how can we go ahead and enable it on your right hand side you will find extensions from there you can go ahead and you can click on manage extensions and there you can see over here my microsoft windows recorder that is enabled another one microsoft power automate that is also enabled as an add-on for the web automations this is not this is required for the desktop flows over here for the web applications you required microsoft power automate add-on all right now to work with web recorder we required web application right in my google chrome i have already launched or opened my web application that is localhost slash employee registration dot html and then what i'm going to do i'm going to start the web recording from here onwards let's click on web recorder over here it will also specify web browser instance to use if you see over here for power automate desktop to work in edge or so on so thing you required plugins to install so what are the plugins you required please install them and also you can see over here in order to use edge with web automation actions you will need to install power automate desktop extension first so for the specific browser you need to add the extensions also in my case i have already added my extension for the google chrome all right if you see under the advanced i am having web browser instance whenever you are going to select the browser that instance will be created in our web recorder all right now if you see over here browser instance name i have given it as browser by default pick up a tab this is the registration form which it is going to be selecting all right let's click on next and if you see over here web recorder has been started but it's not started recording the steps over here what we have to do we have to start recording and over here you can see launch web browser the first sequential step has been taken over here all right let me start recording and now if you see the it started recording and then you can go ahead and you can do what are the steps you required which you have to do as part of the web application if you see over here what i have to do i have to give the employee name so that i will click on left click of the mouse i will do that and then you can see it is going to be capturing all the ui elements now i am going to give my name over here amir basha employee number i will just give some employee number over here and then i am going to select the gender the radio button i will select it you can see all the ui elements are going to be capturing as part of web recorder and you can see i am going to select the departments over here i am going to select mul multiple choice over here and you can see all the ui elements have been captured in a such a way i'm going to give the address over here and then contact number and job location i will select as bangalore and designation project manager and then finally i will give it as my email id once i have filled all these employee forms i want to submit this right when you click on submit it will redirect to another page that is success.html and it will says thank you for the power out my desktop once this all the ui elements has been captured now what you are going to do you will click on finish now if you observe in my flow all the steps what are the sequential of steps what we have done as part of the web recorder all the steps have been noted over here and it has been created automatically by using web recorder now you can see popular text field popular text field on web page for the input to check boxes all these things what values that we have given all the values has been taken completely and you can see under the ui elements you can see all the recording ui elements you can see all the values over here input 1 input 2 input all the values related to the all the values has been captured related to the ui elements now our flow is ready with the web recorder now let's see how it will works whenever we are going to execute our flow let's run the flow to see the output flow execution has been started and you can see this registration form has been started and you can see the employee employee name as amir employee number department and all these things once it has been successfully given the input details it will click on the submit button
once you have clicked on submit button it will go to the page that is success page as we have seen all right now let me close this and if you want to edit this information also you can go ahead and you can edit this flow based on your requirement now we have not closed the browser now what i will do i will close the browser from here by using web automation let me select this close web browser and then the browser instance i'm going to give it as web browser instance as browser and then i'm going to click on save now what will happen after filling the details by using web recorder it will automatically close the browser by using this flow all right let's run the flow to see the output once again flow execution has been started you can see it has been launched the url and it has given employee name employee number departments contact number designation email id and finally it clicks on submit and once it has been successfully filled the details it will close the browser based on our requirement i hope you understand how to work with web recorder as part of this tutorial in the next tutorial we will learn how to work with desktop recorder also thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day